the judgment. The Supreme Court held that incidents like sexual harassment result in a violation of the fundamental rights of gender equality and the right of life and liberty. One of the logical consequences of such an incident is also the violation of victims' fundamental right under Article 19, Clause 1, Subclause G to practice any profession or to carry out any occupation, trade or business. The court observed that the fundamental right to carry on any occupation, trade or profession depends upon the availability of a safe working environment. In the absence of enacted law to prevent sexual harassment at workplaces, the Supreme Court laid down the following guidelines and norms. First, it shall be the duty of the employer and other responsible persons in workplaces or other institutions to prevent or deter the commission of acts of sexual harassment and to provide the procedure for the resolution, settlement or prosecution of acts of sexual harassment by taking all steps required. Second, for this purpose, sexual harassment includes such unwelcome sexually determined behavior whether directly or by implication a physical contact and advances b a demand or request for sexual favors c sexually colored remarks d showing pornography e any other unwelcome physical verbal or non-verbal conduct of sexual nature third all employers or persons in charge of workplace, whether in public or private sector, should take appropriate steps to prevent sexual harassment. The Supreme Court directed that these guidelines and norms would be strictly observed in all workplaces for the pre preservation and enforcement of the right to gender equality of the working women. Importance This incident of brutal gang rape revealed the safety, safety concerns empl employed women face and the pressing need for their protection. The judgment is a step towards the realization of the true concept of gender equality. It tried to fill the vacuum in existing legislation and prevent sexual harassment of working women in all workplaces through the judicial process. And impact? Building on the Vishakha guidelines, the Parliament passed the Sexual Harassment at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013, which seeks to safeguard women from harassment at their workplaces.